Hello again. In this three-part mini-series, we'll be looking at SSH tunnels, starting today with local port forwarding. Let's fire up Tmux and look at a few slides. Forwarding comes in three flavors, local, remote and dynamic. The minus capital L option of the SSH command is used to create a local port forwarding. The syntax of the L option has four alternatives. We are interested in the first one to create a TCP to TCP tunnel. Note that we'll also omit the bind address as it will default to localhost. Let us look at an example. As you can see, the user starts the SSH client with the minus L option. Further, she specifies that she wants the local end of the tunnel to listen on port 8080 and that the data that is sent through the tunnel is to be forwarded to wikipedia.org on port 80. The SSH server itself runs on example.com. To repeat, the user starts the local SSH client program and instructs it to connect to the SSH server at example.com to open a local listening tunnel endpoint on localhost 8080 and to inform the SSH server to forward all traffic that emerges on its end of the tunnel to wikipedia.org on port 80. If the user now initiates a connection with a local tunnel endpoint on localhost 8080, the data is securely tunneled over the established SSH connection to the server from where it is forwarded to wikipedia.org on port 80. The server response travels back to the client via the same tunnel. It's time to give it a try. We are going to connect as demo user and create a new Tmux pane to test our tunnel. An HTTP request sent to localhost 8080 should result in a response from Wikipedia via our tunnel. That is looking great. We don't care about the error at this point. Let us try something else something more useful. Sometimes you may want to access a service that is running on your server but that isn't exposed to the public internet. Such a service could be a database that is only supposed to be accessed by the application server that is also running there. To temporarily make it available directly from your local machine, you can create an SSH tunnel. For the purposes of this demo, that service is just an HTTP server listening on port 8000 that we now expose locally on port 9999. I will be using Python's HTTP module to serve up the contents of a www directory. We'll also tell the module to only listen on the loopback interface, localhost. And therefore, if it wasn't for our tunnel that forwards traffic on the server side to localhost 8000, one could only access that HTTP service directly from the server itself. Thanks to the tunnel, we can access it locally on port 9999. And that is all for today. If you found this clip useful, please like and subscribe to my channel. I hope you will be joining me next time for remote port forwarding and dynamic forwarding thereafter. Thank you for watching and bye bye.